Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of the Quran and Science. Tamir Mumtaz with you and welcoming our very dear professor, Dr. Zaghlul Nagar. Welcoming our dear guests, Brother Fuad and Brother Mustafa. And in this episode, we'll be talking about darkness in the depth of oceans. But first, we'll listen to a recitation of the verse number 40 from Surah An Nur. Or they are like darkness within an unfathomable sea, which is covered by waves upon waves, over which are clouds, layers of utter darkness. Professor Zaghlul, we spoke about darkness in the universe in general, and yes. today we want to know more about darkness in the oceans. Uh, in the name of Allah, our Creator, the Creator of the universe and of everything that's in it, the sole master of this existence, the sole Lord of everything, the one uh, and only one without parallels, partners, or similitude, uh, and I seek his blessings for Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah, the okay. seal of that long chain of prophets and messengers sent by Allah for the guidance of man. And I greet you all in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa wa barakatuh. And also greet the audience. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. Uh, as you mentioned, Tamir, uh, uh, the essence of our existence is darkness. And we have discussed why Allah said in uh, another verse, وَلَوْ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَابًا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَظَلُّوا فِيهِ يَعْرُجُونَ لَقَالُوا إِنَّمَا سُكِّرَتْ أَبْصَارُنَا بَلْ نَحْنُ قَوْمٌ مَسْحُورُونَ And we said that this verse means that the uh, universe is in absolute darkness. And out of the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has created the beautiful white uh, light of the day in only a short distance above sea level that does not exceed 200 kilometers. Once you pass these 200 kilometers, you go into absolute darkness. And uh, uh, the more you go during daylight, you will suddenly be faced with this darkness. And you can see the sun, but the sun will look like a small blue uh, dot uh, uh, in a, a completely dark background. Uh, you can see some of the stars or the positions of the stars. They will look also a scattered little blue dots in a pitch black, a pitch black background. Uh, on the other way, if you go into ocean, you will find that uh, the average depths of ocean range uh, between 4 kilometers and uh, more than 11 kilometers. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, the lit part of the ocean is only the upper ki one kilometer maximum. Maximum. Maximum one kilometer. One kilometer. The, right, the light and reaches one. The rest in absolute darkness. Mm -hmm. Nothing can penetrate at all. So that man can appreciate the beauty of the white light of the day, and one would uh, prostrate in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every time the dawn breaks and appreciate uh, the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the daylight, with every daylight. Um, we also mentioned in a previous uh, episode or in previous episodes that uh, when the Quranic verse comes into the context of a metaphor or a parable. Mm. Uh, it remains uh, scientifically as precise as you can never imagine. Uh, the scientific notion is not intended per se, you see, but yet it remains as, as, as precise as you can never imagine it. 
uh, this verse which we are dealing with today um, and the, the verse before it came in the context of testifying to the fact that unbelievers uh, will never gain anything in the last day. They will lose everything. Mm -hmm. uh, those unbelievers and agnostics and associators uh, nevertheless m may do some good things in their uh, lifetime. They can get their reward in this world. But in Akhirah, in the last hour, in the last uh, uh, day to come, they will get nothing at all. And that's why uh, the verse before ours says, وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَعْمَالُهُمْ كَسَرَابٍ بِقِيَعًا The unbelievers, their deeds will simulate a mirage in a huge flat desert. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَعْمَالُهُمْ كَسَرَابٍ بِقِيَعًا يَحْسَبُهُ الظَّمْآنُ مَاءً A thirsty person seeing a mirage will rush towards it, thinking that it's water. يَحْسَبُهُ الظَّمْآنُ مَاءً فَإِذَا جَاءَهُ لَمْ يَجِدْهُ شَيْئًا وَوَجَدَ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ فَوَفَّهُ حِسَابًا When he reaches the mirage, the more he runs towards it, he will not find it. And he will keep on doing this throughout all his lifetime until he dies and is resurrected and faces Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will find no good deeds. And, 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 and this is for their good deeds in this world. They will get the reward in this life and no reward in Akhirah because they did not believe. They did not have a proper faith. They, do, they did not live according to the divine guidance or they made lots of other mischiefs. What about their bad deeds? The Quran says, Their bad deeds will look uh, like absolute darkness at the great depths of oceans. Bahr al is a very deep ocean, a very deep sea. أو كظلمات في بحر لجي يغشاه موج من فوقه موج من فوقه سحاب. This deep sea will contain inner waves, surface waves, and clouds on top of it. Each of these three phases will minimize light to reach the depths of the oceans. So we mentioned earlier that uh, clouds can send back. 49% of the sun rays and can allow only 51% of the sun radiation to reach the surface of the sea. This white light, once it penetrates the water, it becomes uh, differentiated to its different spectra. And these spec spectra become, uh, become uh, absorbed by the water one after the other. And the first spectrum to be absorbed is the red one. Mm. So that this is absorbed completely at a depth of no more than 10 meters. So if a, a diver, a diving person, uh, would uh, uh, get wounded uh, below 10 meters, he would not see the blood. Really? Mm. He would not yes, see the blood, yes. It will, be, it will look blue. Uh, it, will look, uh, uh, it will look probably orange. Orange. But okay. not see the blood. Okay. And then you find uh, the orange spectrum being absorbed, uh, the, the yellow spectrum being absorbed, mm. uh, the green spectrum being absorbed, and then the blue spectrum is the longest to go uh, th so, through. So that's why, that's the why we, see we, we see the sea as blue. As blue. And yes. the sky also as blue. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the, all this goes into a depth not more than 100 meters. So after 100 meters, only 1% of the sun rays still remains. Mm -hmm. You see, in the upper part, we may get 10% of the uh, mm. rays because most of the sun rays are reflected by the surface waves and are consumed in evaporating water to generate the hydrogeological cycle. So for, uh, scientists call this upper uh, 100 meters the photo zone. Uh, the photozone because it has got light in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
the the uh, or the photic zone. Mm -hmm. The photic zone does not e exceed a hundred meters in any sea, in any ocean. Of course, it depends on whether the water is polluted or not. Clear if enough. polluted, probably nothing mm -hmm. can penetrate. Yeah. But in uh, perfectly clear water, uh, sun rays cannot penetrate uh, more than a hundred meters. Mm. Um, in this 100 meters, we have probably around 10% of the amount of sun rays. But you said uh, up till one kilometer. Uh, no, no, this is the first part of this kilometer. Okay. So we'll get 10% uh, of the sun radiation mm. in the upper 100 meters of the water body. Okay. And then we get 1% only in the second 100 meters. Okay. 0.1% oh. in the third 100 <laughs> meters, and so on. It's decreasing. It gets uh, gradually minimized, yeah. yes. you see. Until you get the inner waves, mm. it stops anything to penetrate. And that's why it became clearly understood that in as much as the sky is pitch black, except for the thickness of the daytime, 200 kilometers mm. above sea level, the bottom of the ocean is in pitch black darkness, you see, below maximum one kilometer. Mm. Mm. And knowing that the average depth of oceans is four kilometers, and the greatest depths of ocean can exceed 11 kilometers, mm. you could imagine how much darkness in the depths of the oceans. It's really very scary. And is there life forms in these parts? I'm of the coming ocean? to that, inshallah. Okay. Uh, do we have time to continue? Yes, yes, yes. please. Uh, so, until the middle of the 20th century, nobody could dream just dream to find waves within huh. the water body. Mm. We, always, we always think waves is only uh, uh, surface, surface waves. Yes, yeah, surface exactly. waves. Surface waves. Yes. Yes. So nobody could even imagine the possibility of having waves within the water body. Mm. So all scientists were talking about surface waves. And they, they differentiated surface waves into tidal waves and wind-driven currents. You have waves caused by the tidal effect, yeah. and we have wind-driven currents. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they couldn't imagine yeah, the possibility oh. of having waves within the bulk of the body of the water. How, uh, who, what would cause it? What mm. causes it? What would cause it? Yes. Yeah. And that's why when Muslim scholars uh, read this verse, أو كظلمات في بحر اللجي يغشاه موجود من فوقه موجود من فوقه سحاب Mm. Uh, like darkness, mm. pitch black darkness at the bottoms of deep oceans, uh, provided by inner waves, uh, followed by to top waves, it was on top of it, you see, then the clouds. And nowadays we know that these three categories mm. of barriers are the categories that cause the absolute darkness at the great depths of the oceans. Mm. Oh. Professor Zaghloul, we'll go yes. for a short break now. And yes. after the break, I want to know what causes the waves. Yes, inshallah. Okay, please be with us. We'll be coming soon. Welcome back, dear viewers, and continuing our conversation with Professor Zaghloul and Nagar and about the inner waves. Professor Zaghloul, inner waves, what causes inner waves? You see, at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, some Danish sailors have noticed that their ships, although buoyed and fixed to the buoys in the harbor, they would shake and jerk. Mm. And uh, they couldn't understand how, uh, how could they shake while they are buoyed and there was no tide and no wind. What shakes it? So they said, so it must be magic. <laughs> it must be some jinn doing oh. it, you see. 
And this went on until the middle of the 20th century, in 1955. Uh, people came to realize that there are inner waves in deep oceans and in deep seas. And these inner waves can be created by earthquakes, like the tsunami, which happened mm. in Southeast Asia last, e last year, uh, like the tsunami which happened in Southeast Asia last year, or can be caused by the slumping of huge blocks of clay, of deposits. Because usually the ocean or the sea has got inclined sides, mm -hmm. yeah. and you get sedimentation on these sides. Okay. And the more weight uh, the, these sediments have, they can easily glide. Or a rift, maybe? Uh, rifting does not take place um, that suddenly, you see. Okay. But the slumping, mm. you see, can create this. Mm -hmm. Not only this, but you will get uh, evaporation of seawater. Mm -hmm. And the more you evaporate seawater, uh, the more denser they be. Because uh, salt remains more, uh, yes, more salt remains. become denser. Mm. And as they uh, become dense, they uh, go down mm -hmm. into lower levels. Okay. And they can create some of these uh, deep oceans. Okay. And they call these oceanic currents. Mm -hmm. And these oceanic currents are much uh, stronger than surface currents, mm. wind-driven currents and tidal currents. They are much stronger. And they usually take place at that depth of one kilometer. They're strong because they carry more amount of water. Uh, they carry more amount of water or more amount of, of sediments, mm -hmm. or they have a big jerk or a big shaking okay. that can create, can make the length of the wave in kilometers. So we can determine the size of these waves also, although they are beneath us? Uh, well, you, you cannot p predict them, you see, but the, once they happen, you can know where they came from, what, mm -hmm. uh, how they were formed, but the you size. cannot predict them, like earthquakes. Okay. So in the case of the tsunami, what happens? An, earth, uh, an earthquake has taken place uh, below the bottom of the ocean, mm. and it does send uh, shaky waves, right. uh, seismic waves, as we call them. And these seism seism wa seismic waves would uh, cause the water to rush into tidal form. And this water can go almost with the speed of a plane, 800 to 1,000 kilometers per, second, per mm -hmm. hour. Uh, and you can have, it can rise up to 40 meters 40. above sea level. Wow. And uh, it can run in successive waves uh, in a very speedy man uh, manner, you see, and wave after wave for, for hours, and can destroy whole areas. If this happens at the bottom of the sea, mm. it can uh, create lots of clouds and lots of uh, mud and clay in suspension that can stop any light to penetrate. Mm. And that's why the uh, bottoms of deep oceans and deep seas uh, 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 lie under absolute darkness. Mm. Absolute darkness. And uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would like to show the fate of unbelievers on the day of judgment. And that's why he say, if they do a good deed in this world, they will get their worldly reward for it. But when they face Allah, they will find no uh, record for this good deed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if they do a bad deed, they will be punished for it in this world. Yeah. Or probably their punishment can be delayed until the world to come but yet they will find themselves in absolute darkness, mm -hmm. like somebody going <laughs> down to the great depths of deep oceans and seas. In this part, doctor, uh, إذا أخرج يده لم يكد لم يكد I'm coming يراه. to it. Yeah. I'm coming to it. You see, Russian Allah <laughs> says, أو كظلمات في بحر لجي. The para parallel of, or the example of uh, great darknesses mm. at the bottom of deep oceans. يَغْشَاهُ موجود مِنْ فَوْقِهِ موجود مِنْ فَوْقِهِ سحاب. And this darkness is created by inner waves and surface waves and the clouds. إِذَا أَخْرَجَ يَدَهُ لَمْ يَكَدْ يَرَاهَ When he stretches his hand, he cannot see it. And indeed, if you are at the bottom of the ocean, if you, you cannot see anything because absolute darkness. And unless you have 
a means of illumination for yourself, you cannot see anything. Right. <clears throat> Unless Allah can give you this light of knowledge, of belief, of wisdom, of uh, uh, good morality and good character, you see, you, where, where else can you get it from? Mm -hmm. If Allah deprives a person from his guidance, mm -hmm. where else can, can he get it? Mm -hmm. See, he will never find it. Doctor, my question also here regarding the Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, uh, he never traveled by sea, correct? Uh, and, and therefore, the, the explanation again, the, my, my usual question that I yes. always ask, what was the uh, uh, explanation for this verse at that time? The interpretation of this verse. As you correctly said, Prophet mm -hmm. Muhammad yeah, wasallam, never yes. rode a sea, yes. let alone going mm -hmm. down to see what's in the Scuba bottom of the diving. sea. Scuba <laughs> 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 diving. Yes. Yes. Uh, he never rode a sea, yes. yeah. 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 And uh, for these uh, two verses to be revealed to him is a living testimony to every sane person that the glorious Quran cannot be the work of man. Mm. It was not written by Muhammad, peace be upon him. Oh, really. And I recall, I don't know whether I said this before, yeah. a man called Michael Hart, mm. uh, an American nuclear physicist who, who is interested in history. And he wrote a book entitled The Hundred. And he has chosen the most influential uh, hundred personalities throughout the march of the history of man. And although he did not believe in the prophethood of Muhammad, peace be upon him, yes, he did not believe that the Holy Quran is a divine revelation. Mm -hmm. And he said Muhammad was a genius and he wrote the book. Yet he couldn't but put him at the head of the list, at the top of the list. Prophet Muhammad was number one. The, the most inf influential person in the history of humanity at large. What is the name of the uh, Michael Hart. Michael Hart. Michael Hart, yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. the book is called The Hundred. Okay. A very famous book. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And uh, you see, uh, early uh, uh, Muslims uh, couldn't, of course, know that there are inner waves yes. in, mm -hmm. inside the water body because this is beyond the capacity of man to comprehend. Uh, so they thought, oh, yes. Uh, surface waves can override each other mm. and, that's, and, and, and this can create the darkness which uh, يعني, uh, uh, in, in a way is correct yes. Yes. or the sea at night it is dark also uh, well night, at night and at day the bottom of the ocean is uh, absolute uh, darkness yeah. <laughs> yes. it doesn't make much difference yes. Yes. but the most striking thing in this verse is at the end of it yes. Yes. Yes, Why did I say this? You see, uh, scientists, scientists always believed uh, that fly, uh, life in the sea uh, flourishes in the upper 100 meter, mm -hmm. this photic zone. Where there is in light. Well lit 10 zone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the on Yes. And on the uh, uh, bottom of the, of the sea, that does not uh, exceed that depth. Shallow, shallow, uh, shallow seas. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have what we call uh, planktonic life that floats in the upper 100 meters or so mm. uh, of the sea. And we have free swimmers like fish yeah. because planktonic do not have a means of swimming. Mm -hmm. They are drifted by the currents. Yeah. Right. And we have benthonic life that lives at the bottom of seas and oceans, mm. usually in the shallow part of, of uh, the, the two sides of the sea. And nobody could dream of finding any form of life at the depths of the oceans. The they said yeah. it's absolutely dark, mm. uh, very, very cold, and uh, uh, very, uh, the pressure of water is enormous. Very high. Yeah. Yes, you have a column of four kilometers of mm. water. At least. Uh, <laughs> what life can withstand? Yeah. And like mm. when they make a submarine, they put a lot of, uh, safety devices definitely and, uh, yeah otherwise it would be crushed yes. yeah. immediately so uh, it was a common understanding that there is no life at the bottom of deep mm. seas or deep oceans and that's why fishing was always done in the upper 100 meters or so yes. of uh, marine waters but uh, very recently uh, uh, 
submarine uh, devices were uh, made uh, or devised, submarines were devised uh, to study the bottoms of seas and oceans. And as they went down to the greatest depths of seas and oceans, they found life is flourishing more <laughs> there much more than in the upper 100 meters oh, of the sea. Oh, and, oh. I, and I read these, these were very recent discoveries. I mean, these very, were very recent, recent discoveries. discoveries. Oh, very yeah. recently, yes. And yeah. they're actually studying some of the new discoveries right now. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, as they went down, they found some of the uh, worms reach 40 meters long. <laughs> really. Snakes. And the, the, the shape of the animals there and, and is beyond the, uh, human imagination. Mm. Something, a new world completely a new world of life. And they wondered how could these animals exist without light. Yeah. Mm. And for their surprise, mm. they found that Allah has donated each individual living there a special source of light, a chemical <laughs> compound in its body mm. and an enzyme. As it adds the enzyme to this particular chemi chemi chemical compound, it lights the way through. Like a torch like a torch Subhanallah. and imagine you see the end of the verse says Subhanallah. meaning specifically humans living on top of that earth mm. if they do not receive the divine guidance where else can they get it if Allah didn't give them his guidance mm -hmm. where else can they get it and you find exactly the same meaning reflected at the bottom of the oceans with the fish. literally because of the living exactly yes. literally uh, yes because if allah yeah. didn't donate these individuals at the, the great depths of the oceans mm -hmm. this source of light where Ooh. else could they get yes it? where did they get this from <laughs> Subhanallah. Subhanallah. so we can take two meanings from the one eye yes that the, the 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 darkness means uh disbelieving yes and it's well as well it means the bottom indeed, of the ocean indeed and Indeed. the light meaning uh, belief, iman, as yes. well as Allah giving the animal the little, Indeed. actually, the real Indeed. light. Indeed. Indeed. We ask you, Professor, to make dua for us and pray for us Please. that Allah <laughs> gives us uh, our light <laughs> so that we can use it here and in the hereafter, inshallah. <laughs> Sadly, we have come to the end of this episode. We thank you very much, Professor Zaghloul Nagar. Thank you, our guests, Fuad and Mustafa. Thank you, dear viewers. And inshallah, till next episode, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa find that uh, the average depths of ocean range uh, between four kilometers and uh, more than 11 kilometers mm -hmm. you see uh, the lit part of the ocean is only the upper ki one kilometer maximum 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 one kilometer one kilometer the, right, the light and reaches one the rest kilometer. in absolute darkness mm -hmm. nothing can penetrate at all so that man can appreciate the beauty of the white light of the day and one would uh, prostrate in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every time the dawn breaks and appreciate uh, the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the daylight.
with everyday light. Um, we also mentioned in a previous uh, episode or in previous episodes that uh, when the Quranic verse comes into the context of a metaphor or a parable, mm. uh, it remains uh, and we said that this verse means that the uh, universe is in absolute darkness. And out of the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has created the beautiful white uh, light of the day in only a short distance above sea level that does not exceed 200 kilometers. Once you pass these 200 kilometers, you go into absolute darkness. And uh, uh, the more you go during daylight, you will suddenly be faced with this darkness. And you can see the sun, but the sun will look like a small blue uh, dot uh, uh, in a, a completely dark background. Uh, you can see some of the stars or the positions of the stars. They will look also a scattered little blue dots in a pitch black, a pitch black background. Uh, on the other way, if you go... Our dear guests, Brother Fuad and Brother Mustafa, and in this episode, we'll be talking about darkness in the depth of oceans. But first, we'll listen to a recitation of the verse number 40 from Surat An-Nur. <laughs> For they are like darkness within an unfathomable sea, which is covered by waves upon waves, over which are clouds, layers of utter darkness. Professor Zaghloul, we spoke about darkness in the universe in general, and yes. today we want to know more about darkness in the oceans. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of The Quran and Science. Tamir Mumtaz with you and welcoming our very dear professor, Dr. Zaghloul Nagar. Welcome. Uh, in the name of Allah, our Creator, the Creator of the universe and of everything that's in it, the sole master of this existence, the sole Lord of everything, the one. Uh, and only one without parallels, partners, or similitude. Uh, and I seek his blessings for Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Salaam the Salaam. seal of that long chain of prophets and messengers sent by Allah for the guidance of man. And I greet you all in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi And also greet the audience. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. Uh, as you mentioned, Tamir, uh, uh, the essence of our existence is darkness. And we have discussed why Allah said in uh, another verse, 